Hello everybody. In the previous example, we talked about a car moving around a bound track on a road coated with ice, in which case there was no friction force between the road and uh, the car. Now, we proved that the critical speed that the car must have in order to go around the circular track and not skid outwards nor inwards was given by Vc equal to the square root of 2gr tan theta. Now here's the thing. For the car not to skid outwards or inwards, you have to, it is a must, have this speed. In other words, the banking angle theta if you look at tan theta, tan theta is equal to v square over gr. So what does this mean? It means that the banking angle depends on the speed of the car and the radius of the car. For a given road, the radius of the road, sorry, the radius for a given road, the radius of the road, the circular part is constant. That in turn implies that the banking angle actually depends on the speed of the car. If the speed of the car is less than the critical speed, the car will skid inwards. In order to prevent the car from skidding inwards, the road must exert a frictional force outwards to prevent the car from skidding inwards. On the other hand, if V is greater than VC, the car has a tendency to skid outwards, which means that the road must exert a frictional force inwards to prevent the car from skidding outwards. So let us analyze this situation and see um, what will happen. So the first case that I'd like for us to look at will be the case in which the speed of the car is less than that critical speed. If the speed of the car is less than the critical speed, it means that the car has a tendency to skid inwards. As a result, the road will exert a friction force outwards to prevent the car from skidding inwards. So if we do the free body diagram, um, you will have the weight, which is vertically downwards. You will have the normal force, which is perpendicular to the surface. And the friction force acting on the car will be acting outwards. Outwards. Remember, it will be acting outwards as long as the speed of the car is low or below the critical speed. Now, if this is the case, how do we analyze this problem? This angle is theta. Um, this angle is also theta. This angle is also theta. So we can resolve both the friction force and the normal force. Let's do that. Um, for the normal force, we have, this is N sine theta. For friction, we have, sorry, this is N cosine theta. For the friction force, we have here Fs cosine theta and we have here fs sine theta now that being said you can clearly see that the summation of forces along the y direction 
is equal to fs sine theta plus n cosine theta, all of these will be equal to mg. Similarly, the sum of forces along the radial direction will be equal to n sine theta minus fs cosine theta, all of this will be equal to mv squared all divided by r. Let's call this equation 1. And let's call this equation 2. What I would love for you to do is we will re -exp we will kind of divide equation 1 by equation 2 and see what happens. If, if we do that, we will have fs sine theta plus n cosine theta divided by n sine theta minus fs cosine theta all of these will be equal to mg divided by mv squared over r the m's will cancel and also know that fs is less than or equal to mu s n which means that fs max is equal to mu s n so we can replace fs by mu s n if we do that we have mu s n sine theta plus n cosine theta divided by n sine theta minus mu s n cosine theta all of this will be equal to rg over v squared what we can do from now is we can factorize n if we factorize n, n is common, so we can take it out. This will be n, n, and clearly it will cancel each other. So we will be left with mu s sine theta plus cosine theta divided by sine theta minus mu s cosine theta all equal to rg divided by v squared as a result we can see that v max will be equal to v max will be equal to the square root of sine theta minus mu s cosine theta divided by sorry v mean i'll explain why divided by mu s sine theta plus cosine theta so this is the minimum speed that the car can have to prevent sliding inwards it this is the minimum speed that the car can have on a bank track to prevent from sliding inwards so the question is what will be the maximum speed that the car can have to prevent sliding outwards now we are going to do that in the next lesson thank you so much and uh, remain blessed